Hi there, welcome to IR Models. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I built and painted this 172nd scale F18 cockpit from Academy. Let's take a look. This video is a precursor to my build video of Academy's 172nd FA-18C Hornet, of which the cockpit originates. To build the cockpit, I used Tamiya Extra Thin Cement, which I highly recommend due to its brush applicator and ability to join parts effortlessly. The cockpit detail is pretty good for a 172nd kit, and is made up of two seat areas, I'll only be using one though, as this part is likely used in other Hornet two-seater kits. The fit of the parts was great, no need for cleanup, and the ejection seat looked pretty nice, even sporting some moulded in seat belts. Overall, it was a quick and easy build process, only taking around 10 minutes to complete. Before I begin painting, I like to prime my models, in this case with Vallejo's Grey Surface Primer. This helps the coming paint to stick to the bare plastic and ensures a strong layer of paint. I thinned the primer with water to make sure that it would spray in an even layer and I think it turned out fine. While painting, I like to use a homemade wet palette, which extends the paint's working time and helps immensely. The first thing I did was base paint the cockpit in a medium grey colour. This was done with regular acrylic thinned with water in about a 50-50 ratio, I think. I'd like to emphasise the importance of refer reference material here. It helps immensely when painting small details like these on your models. The ejection seat was painted in a darker grey colour, thin to about the same ratio. However, I think I added a bit too much water as I had to apply many coats for an even layer of paint. Once that was done, I painted the side panels with that same dark grey as per the reference photos. A steady hand was needed in order to not splotch paint down the sides of the cockpit. The main instrument panel was also painted in this colour.
White paint was used to pick out the individual switches and dials. I'd recommend to not thin your paint in this situation to avoid getting a pin wash type effect. After that was complete, I grabbed some green paint and painted the left and right DDI screens alongside the AMPCD below. Red was used to pick out the rudder pedals. I made a small mistake here, however, it was easily cleaned up with a touch of grey later. The canopy ejection handle was painted with a bright yellow with black lines added off camera as they were too fiddly to film while brush painting. Going back to the ejection seat, I picked out the fabric with a khaki colour. The seat belts were then painted with an even lighter khaki colour, with the clips picked out with a bit of grey. Off camera, I added a few screen details with a lighter green, just to add interest to the screens. I also painted the control stick off camera as it was just too fiddly to film. Final assembly was completed with super glue that you can find at a dollar store, dabbed onto the parts with some spare sprue. The fit was expectedly a bit more snug than before due to the many layers of paint. The joystick was then added with a pair of tweezers, finishing the build off. Overall, for a 170 second scale cockpit, this was a great little build and will fit nicely with the FA-18. The detail was surprisingly good, even if somewhat simplified on the ejection seat. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to see the next part in this series, and feel free to leave any thoughts in the comments below. You've been watching IR Models, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.